Uh, I'm Conrad from Skycoders and together with Henning I created the cab for me application helping you as the name says to find a cab and um, I want to give you a short look on uh, location based <coughs> applications because this is uh, mainly what cab for me is and how you can do this with a Google Android platform. So mainly um, if you take a step back to have a successful mobile platform um, you have certain requirements. One is time to market is very important in the mobile environment because it's changing so quickly. You don't have like years to react. You have more uh, weeks to react because phones are like exchanged every two years. Um, and, and so it's, it's very important to, to be really quick in what you do. And um, also very interesting is that you have a very large but also very heterogeneous user base. It's just everybody who uses a mobile phone, which is uh, causing a real challenge in developing applications who can make everybody happy. Um, because everybody can have a look at it, and if certain people are not happy with your application, you get bad ratings. So that's also interesting. Um, the platform itself needs to provide a very rich user experience, because um, otherwise users will simply neglect the platform. So that touch screen stuff since uh, introduced with the iPhone sort of is mandatory for a great platform to have. And um, most of all, you need applications to allow to access the platform. Uh, so what, what you can do with Android, um, as Mike already said, you can do like everything. You can access the camera, you can access your location, you have network access, you can integrate a web browser, you can integrate Google Maps, what, what we did in our application. And this is very important to create really nice applications for such a platform. Um, I am sure that the mobile internet usage will exceed the, the speech usage because it's just something you probably do more often uh, than, than calling someone. Just looking up like um, the, the uh, schedule of your train or I don't know what. So um, this is definitely a change in how mobile phones are used. Um, but in the end, it's, it's all about the number. So if you have great apps and many devices and many users, <coughs> you create a very high interest in what you're doing. If you have no devices, you won't have apps because it's just not interesting to develop applications. And so you have no interest. Google announced the Android Developer Challenge back in November or December 2007. And um, of course, the price money caught our ex uh, um, attention. Uh, but also the, the platform itself because they said, okay, you do plain Java programming, which is very familiar for most developers, um, also from the business side. And, and it's free. You can use it on any computer with Windows, Linux, or, or Mac OS and just give it a try. So we looked at the concepts and said, yeah, we will give it a try. So um, to participate in the challenge, we took the approach look for use cases which are really mobile because doing something just on a mobile which has been done before is nothing you could win this challenge with. Then um, filter those ideas uh, for applications which use the special power of Android and then create something which really helps users. That was how we started. So what we did is we had a good cup of tea which is really true, it's just the truth. Took the idea and created cap for me out of it. The idea which we initially had and participated with in the challenge was you select your location or where you want to be picked up uh, with this uh, marker here. Then you just say order, can enter some additional information. Um, the cab company gets your location on a map and your phone number and stuff and they can accept the order. And you just get a confirmation that the cab company will arrive. And in case uh, this automatic ordering is not available, you get a list of companies and call them. This was our initial approach, that you can get a cab with just one click. So that's really a location-based service and it's really convenient. I come back to this later. Now I just want to give you a short look on why Android is so perfect for cab for me. You have this full platform access, so we can access the phone to initiate calls and stuff like this. We can access the contact list to provide you an easy means for uh, selecting your pickup location out of your well-known contacts. You have uh, location-based support through the GPS. It's really like five lines of code to get your location, nothing more. Um, Android is always online. This internet connection is also very important to provide really powerful services because if you store all the data on the phone, the data will be outdated 
and you are restricted with the size of the stuff you can store. So using this internet cloud to provide your service is really an advantage. Um, and you have this Google Maps integration, which you just saw. Android is the only device where you can use Google Maps as a standard UI tool to do anything with it. And this is really something uh, which is very, very, very nice. Switch back, what do you need to become a mobile developer? Our personal background is more in business software development, so of course we knew what we are doing when we do software, but we have never done it for a mobile before. Um, so mainly large-scale applications, no resource restrictions, big screens, keyboard, all that stuff. Projects are long running, like three years or something. So if you want to develop a mobile application, you have to throw all this knowledge away, except for knowing how to write a program, and rethink the entire concept. Because you have small screens, you do not always have a keyboard. Um, you are very resource restricted uh, concerning memory, CPU, processing power. Most important, the battery. If you drain the battery, users will hate you, which is understandable. Uh, and it should be fail safe, because if you break the phone, users will hate you as well. The phone is something very personal and it, it, it is expected to work. It's not like your Windows PC where you accept blue screens and say, yeah, okay, I reboot. Um, that's nothing you would accept on your mobile. And it's very private. You store very private data on the phone, so you need to create an atmosphere of trust uh, so that the users really allow you on their device. And, and as I said before, the market changes very quickly, so you have to be um, fast in adopting those market changes. If you look at the Android platform, it is so interesting because it's open and free and you will have many devices. This is very important from the developer perspective because it just gives you access to tons of users and, and the focus is clear for the masses. The iPhone is sort of exclusive. Um, that's what Apple always tries to do um, and, and it's just their business model. Um, but Android is just for everybody and you will have very many different devices which you can still access with the same software. You just need to adopt like to the screen. And this is more a matter of configuration than a matter of rebuilding your application. So it's very easy. And if you look at the Open Handset Alliance, there's really strong support for the platform because you have tons of carriers, <coughs> device manufacturers and software vendors in there. And if you look uh, where we are now, we have the one device which is just built by the team of HTC, T-Mobile and Google, but this is for sure not uh, what will be the end. If you look at Android from the developer's perspective, um, just to sum it up, it's very comfortable to use because it's a Java platform. You write Java code and you have all the tools you need to test your applications. Um, you have access to all the hardware on the device in a very easy way, so no obstacles to adopt to different devices or stuff because the Android API encapsulates all this. Very simple integration of components like Google Maps. You have a developer community, something Apple just forbid in the beginning by their terms uh, for, for the SDK, um, where you can just ask questions and you will get answers. And also during this um, developer challenge phase where no device was out, you still had the community which would help you in, in any case of problems. And this works really well. Um, you, you can provide services to other applications. This is also special. It's sort of a service-oriented architecture on a mobile phone. Uh, we talked to some guys from another application who want to launch um, soon on, on Android and they said, yeah, it would be cool if we could sort of integrate um, your cap calling uh, feature because uh, they provide location-based information about many things and caps is definitely one around them and what we can do is that they just can say okay I want to have a cap right here where I am and they throw this request into the system and the system will uh, find out if cap for me is installed and then launch our application automatically and show the information. So you can sort of really stick applications together without knowing this in advance. And this is a big advantage of the Android platform. And it's not restricted, as I said, to one device or one manufacturer. 